Well, hello and happy Sunday, everyone. How are you guys doing? This is Indigo from Indigo's Living Her Best Light. And if you're new to my channel, hey, stick around for a while, get to know us, hit subscribe. It's free. I say that all the time. And if you've been to my channel before, thank you for continuing to walk this journey with us. And who is the chit chat today? So baby boy is two weeks and six days old today. He will be three weeks old tomorrow. But the reason I decided to wait to do the video today is today is actually his born day. So if he would have went full term, today would have been his date of birth. If at 40 weeks today, he would I would have been 40 weeks pregnant. And this would have been his born day. So I decided to do the video on his born day, y'all. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that uh if i would have went full term it would have been today but baby boy would be three weeks old tomorrow and i cannot believe that either i'm still oh i'm still over the moon like y'all i cannot believe it that i'm a mommy <laughs> after so many years of trying and trying and trying and trying i am a mommy y'all so it is so crazy so what's been going on so this week baby boy got circumcised y'all it was so traumatic for me he did not cry. Um, I did. Believe it or not, I did. I just did not want to see my son hurt. So, y'all, I know it's something that they'll never remember and anything like that. But I cried, y'all. I'm going to insert a picture at the end. You can see if you look at my eyes, they're watery because they just handed him back to me. And he took it like a G. He looks like he was crying. He was just fussing because they made me... Um, he couldn't eat for an hour before the procedure. So he ate and then we went over there and they did the procedure. The procedure takes a minute and he was hungry. So he was really fussy because he was ready to eat. It had nothing to do with the procedure. He did the procedure like a G y'all. So I'm happy and excited about that. So it's almost healed. His umbilical cord fell off last Sunday. I don't know if I said that in last Sunday's vlog or not. I don't know if it happened before I did the video or after, but his umbilical cord did fall off. So yay that happened so now we're just going through the healing of his penis and we should be all right um what else is going on um did my two-week follow-up doctor's office i'm still doing well all my numbers are looking wonderful so that is wonderful y'all peanut is still in the seven pounds he is seven pounds 14 ounces he is 18 and three fourth inches long so he's still a little shorty thing um he had not gotten that big yet I am still doing breast and bottle feeding. These breasts are getting out of control, y'all. These breasts are truly getting out of control. If you hear him fuss right now because he is on my lap, it's because he just got done eating and he's probably going to be mad because that bottle is empty, y'all. Ah, you hear him? That bottle is empty, y'all. He is sitting here so calm and patient. I keep trying to tell y'all. He is the sweetest little baby. You want to say hi? Let's say hi. Of course, we're going to show you him again. But let's say hi, Stink Butt. Let's say hi. Say hello. Say hello. No. Stretchings. Stretchings. My little peanut stretchings. <laughs> He's my little Stinky Butt. He is such a sweet baby, y'all. Such a sweet baby. He's still good and tiny, y'all. He's just a sweet little baby. Um... I couldn't ask for a happier, just peaceful little baby. I'm so grateful for that. What else is going on, y'all? Stuff just keeps coming in and coming in from family members and everywhere. I'm, I'm, I'm literally with double the stuff now. It's just getting out of control. I'm like, stop sending, stop sending. Y'all all keep sending newborn stuff and y'all all keep sending stuff for now. He has way too much. I had nine months. I knew I was pregnant. So most of this that you guys are sending now, if someone from, you know, my channel hadn't sent it, you know, I had bought it. Please stop sending it. <laughs> so I'm definitely glad I didn't have a baby shower because if I did, wow, can you imagine, y'all? I look so tired in the video, but I think, you know, it's a happy tired. It's definitely a happy tired. Right now he's sleeping really well because we have him on Tylenol every four to six hours because of his circumcision. So I actually got some sleep last night and the night before and the night before that. <laughs> but that was a Tylenol and do sleep. So that was basically all it was. Um, what else? Um, he is knocked out. Look at my little chubby babies. Yes, that's mommy's baby. I just love when he gets in my little neck. I'll be like, oh. <laughs> 
But um, remember what I used to say before I had them? Oh, I just don't want to share them. I just don't want to share them. But I'm telling you, some of the happiest moments that I have are when I see him and Sydney together. Now, you know what, y'all? I think it would be better. Better. <laughs> so I'm sitting here doing this video with y'all and I don't have the ring light on. So what was the purpose of doing the video if the ring light isn't on? Just silly, 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 silly. <laughs> But I think some of the happiest times that I have is when I watch him and Sydney together. And I think it's the sweetest thing because, you know, it is just sweet. Just watch them bonding and um, watch her pick up mommy duties. And she's doing so well. And she's learning a lot because, y'all, she had never been around a baby at all. Um, a couple times, of course. But she's never was one for babysitting. She was a boy. <laughs> she was a boy. So she never was one for babysitting. And she's an only child. She does have an older sister that's like 20-something years older than her. But it's a half-sister. So she's never really dealt with babies. So yes, to I'm watch learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. <laughs> yeah, here she comes. She's learning. learning and she's doing so well. She is doing so well, y'all. So, I mean, that is just like... It's perfect to, um, yeah, he just burped. <laughs> it is perfect to see her with him. Y'all, it's like amazing, 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 amazing. So, um, let me see. Look, just like I want to play in his hair. <laughs> Comfortable? Just like okay. when people play in my hair? Yes, just like when people, people play in her hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, you representing college today, huh? <laughs> Represent her alma mater, her college. VUU. VUU, yes, VUU. We have a couple of subscribers that are on our channel that went to VUU and they were like, I think I know your wife. I think I went to college with your wife. And I was like, Yeah, you probably did. What year did you graduate? Come to find out they knew each other. So that tells you just how small the world it is where uh, somebody that actually went to school with her was one of my followers. So I thought that was kind of cool. But let me see what else is going on, y'all. Hmm. Mama drama. Mama drama now when well, i told y'all last week how mom just seemed to have fallen in love with little peanut and was over the moon and just y'all she dropped the bomb so come to find out the only reason that she was acting so happy and so excited about little peanut is because other family members have found out about peanut so she hadn't told anybody she knew i was pregnant this whole time she didn't tell anybody i was pregnant she actually told people she thought i was lying about being pregnant how low and dirty can you get about that? I don't know. So when the shoe dropped and I announced it and, you know, I had C-section pictures up, it was, oh, my God, congratulations. Da, da, da. So to say face, she tried to step up to the plate and act like she was excited. But, hmm, truth came out and not at all. So I know now to definitely keep my distance. He had enough internet aunties and uncles and regular aunties and uncles and cousins and everything that are really wanting to be in his life that um, I don't even care, y'all. You would think I would, but I don't know. You want to you wanna, you wanna talk to the audience? I guess not. <laughs> but um, he has enough internet aunties and uncles and regular aunties and uncles and cousins that he doesn't need that in his life and I refuse to let him be hurt and let down. Um, I've been through it for 47 years of, you know, yay, and then let downs. So we're, we're not going to put him through that. Um, I just decided that I need to break ties before ties really get built. And I think that's the best decision for my family and I that I keep and feed her with a long handled spoon. Especially to find out that it was all under false pretenses. And to make me so excited because I felt like, wow, well, this whole pregnancy with just me and Sydney, of course, and you guys, but I'm saying physically, just me and Sydney, or Sydney and I. <laughs> and, you know, for her to step up to the plate when he's first born, like, oh my goodness, he's this, he's that. And then to find out it was basically all just a front, that is really hurtful. Definitely hurtful. So, I definitely want to thank the subscribers who do say words of encouragement and do say, you know, this, that, and the third, and blah, 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 because it is heartfelt. It, I am grateful for it. We are grateful for it. Um, he is grateful for it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, he's the best baby ever. And we're just going to keep positive vibes in his life. Um, 
so that he grows up and you know he doesn't have to go through that back and forth because you know she's old school she's in her 70s and she's just going to be who she is and I can't change that um as much as I want to change it she cannot see past her selfishness for our happiness so I mean even when I first met Sid she was not thrilled she was not thrilled y'all you know because I was married to a man before so she was looking for that white picket fence she was looking she just would not she was now Sydney was not the first woman I had ever you know dated I had dated once before but she was serious like super serious she knew it was going in a serious direction and she was not thrilled now she loves her now she absolutely she'll ask about her before she asks anything about me which I find ironic when she didn't even like her now and I and, and the funny part she didn't dislike her she just wasn't a fan of the situation one the age difference one um i'm a female she's a female <laughs> so because of that you know yeah no <laughs> but now like she'll ask about her before she even asks about me she will ask about peanut before she asks about me i mean it's not like how's your c-section healing how's it she could care less she asks about the dogs she asks about the dogs she asked about me. She does. Our one dog had his teeth pulled out a couple mm-hmm. months ago. She texts every day. How's his mouth? How's his? How's that? Mm-hmm. How's he doing? I had a whole C-section, y'all. Cut from hip to hip. And she hasn't said, how are you healing? How are you feeling? How are you? Mm-mm. But like I said, I'm keeping all that negative vibe away from Peanut. Um, I feel like it's the best thing for us. Um. Because I feel like I'm damned if I do and damned if I don't. And I refuse to have him feel like that. Um, so I need to make sure that he is in a safe, happy home environment. And that just means... <laughs> what you doing? You hear me talking? Hi, thing. You waking up? You want the people to see you? Y'all, he is dead to the world. He done, oh, wait a minute. Maybe not. He done had that bottle. Had it on. He's still sleeping. Oh, he's still sleeping. <laughs> He done had that bottle, but you know, people want to see you. They don't want to just keep seeing the back of your head. There you go. There you go. He is in his own little world right now, y'all. <laughs> he really is. But like I said, can you see him? He is a sweetheart. He is truly a sweet baby. Um, he does not fuss a lot. You mess with his sleep and you mess with his food. That's what you hear him. Any other time, he oh, he's so alert now. Most of the time when he is up, like he was before that bottle, he's very alert. His eyes are open now. He's playful. I get a couple smiles out of him. He has dimples, y'all. He has dimples like me. I I tell you, I think this is the strangest thing ever, how he resembles us as a couple. I mean, he's starting to be a little chocolate drop like his mama. (laughs) He's about to sue her with this chocolate. What they call it? I forget. Chocolate. Yeah, chocolate drop. I think they called him. But they was like, yeah. oh my God, he's such a beautiful chocolate drop. I was like, okay, chocolate drop. He done went from peanut to chocolate drop. Maybe he's a chocolate covered peanut. We don't know. <laughs> I think. But he um he is just happy. He's content. Like I said, he plays. He's y'all. So we got this new swing last night. <laughs> he loves the swing. So we had the first swing. First swing we got, he was not a fan of. Like, he would stay in the swing 30 seconds and start getting like, I'm not for the swing. So we were like, okay. So last night I was like, okay, we in Target. I was like, we're getting a new swing because this one ain't working. So I'm like, and for a hundred and something dollars, this swing better do tricks. <laughs> so we got him to swing and he loves it because it swings like this instead of back and forth. And he loves the motion like that because even when he gets in the car gets in the car seat, he loves the motion of the car driving. So I think he just loves that motion like this. So he loves, loves his new swing. So I'm happy about that. But that first swing, y'all, mm-mm, that was a waste of, what, $100? Mm-hmm. Because that swing, mm-mm, I'm going to just keep it there. Or I'll probably give it to one of my residents. I have a couple of them that are pregnant right now because it was used one time. <laughs> one time. So, yeah. But, um. Yeah. And it plays music too. Yeah, I mean it's cute. It's cute little swing, but he was not a fan yeah, of that. Bounce with it. 
Oh, the new one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one plays like Beethoven and yeah. Chopin. Like it plays a whole bunch. Not fun of music. Not that music. <laughs> he likes her type R and B. He likes R and B. He likes a Jersey club music, y'all. And old school. Yeah, he loves old school. So he he old soul mm-hmm. like his mommy. Say I got old soul. Like he is both of his mommies. Because we are both mommies. So if I never told you what both our titles are going to be, we are both going to be mommies. So she's not going to be no daddy. She's not going to be Sydney. We are both going to be mommies. However he decides to do it. Mommy and mama. Mama and mommy. However he decides in his mind to call us. But we are both mommies. Because we are both women's. And women's. <laughs> we are both women and we are not going to confuse Peanut. Peanut knows that we are both women. Well, he will know. Um, right now he don't care. As long as somebody feeding <laughs> If somebody's interacting with him, he doesn't care. But yeah, so yes. So just in case I have never said that, because I can't remember. I don't think I ever, I don't think I ever made mention of what we will be called, but we are both mommies. So, um, yeah. Whatever he come up with. Whatever, yeah. Whatever he come up with, um, we're going to let him decide and let him do whatever it is that his little heart wants to do. But we are mommies. We are not mommy and daddy. We are mommies. We will be celebrating Mother's Day. Because <laughs> we are both. And Father's Day too. Well, yeah, because we are mothers and fathers. But we are mothers. Um, so for a couple people who do want to happen to know that. Um, because I had a couple subscribers unsubscribe when they realized that we were a same-sex couple. Which I don't understand that when you can see the picture clearly on the front of my channel and see that's two women. But hey, to each his own and that's fine with me. I'm proud to rock my rainbow colors <laughs> happy as i've ever been in my life um this little bundle of joy came out of it so we are completely overjoyed and over the moon and let's see what else oh. <laughs> what else is going on i think i covered everything tell them about the circumcision what about today is supposed to be the day Yes, today was his born day. Yeah. And he's still just a little tiny little peanut. Um, I told you I'm still breastfeeding and bottle feeding. I'm supplementing still. But these boobs are out of control. <laughs> They're fine. She like them. She definitely like them. <laughs> and, and look, I got bra straps going everywhere. These nursing bras ain't nothing to be playing <laughs> with. But he is definitely a good eater. That There is no doubt about that. He is definitely eater at night i do breastfeed um during the and i do pump so that she can bottle feed we bottle feed during the day um but at night when we're super close and it's super quiet that is when we get our oh he can find a nipple y'all <laughs> there is no doubt about that during the day he'll do that if he starts whining for a bottle he'll go straight like looking for a nipple on me but i just chose to bottle feed um pump and bottle feed during the day so that she can bond with him also i just feel like you know i get my bonding time at night um when it's just me and him and it's quiet and she's snoring beside us <laughs> oh y'all they sleep so much alike. i'm gonna have to film that one day so you can say oh you hear him so i think i think he's trying to he said no don't film it oh yeah <laughs> they sleep so much alike it is so cute i think i have a couple pictures of them sleeping together that i'm gonna have to put up here at the end but they sleep just the, like if one hand is up here, his her hand is up there. It is a cute. I'm telling you, y'all. I don't know where this baby came from. I'm telling you, I feel like if we are could have had a baby together, this would have been it. Cause his personality is so much like both of ours. Cause he, I'm laid back, he's laid back. She is. She laid back, but she got a little bit of jerseyness to her, and he can turn up too. So. I think he's a little bit of both of us, but I think that's all that's going on right now. Um, tomorrow, so tomorrow I'll start working, but I'm only working from home, so I do go back to work tomorrow. Tomorrow is three weeks since his delivery, but I am oh. gonna be okay. Just fussing at me, who you fussing at? Who you fussing? Mm. Oh, he had another burp. <laughs> oh, is that a laugh? Are your eyes open so that people can see you? Yeah, they're open. Hi. You can keep open? Nope, you close them. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Like you said, don't mess with his sleep. Don't mess with his sleep. <laughs> and don't mess with his food. 
but otherwise he is just like so perfect y'all and yeah so i go back to work tomorrow i'm gonna be working from home i'm gonna work home from home monday with are you opening your eyes no he's just getting me to sleep <laughs> that wait a minute there you go justice you want to say hi no <laughs> um so i'll be working monday wednesday friday from home for the next two weeks and then i go in i swear to you i'm not looking forward to it i'm really not looking forward to it i'm gonna miss this little guy even though i can take him into work um i'm not going to because she's gonna have an extra week after i go back <laughs> he's gonna have an extra week so i'm gonna let them bond and then um start taking him in but what i'm gonna do is like i said um on the day she's off he's gonna stay home with her when she goes back to work on the days she's on i'm gonna work from home until he gets his shots um i do not want to take him into the office um with me until he does have his shots so basically i will be working on and off from home in the office until the man is eight weeks old so we got about five more weeks because they're not going to give him his uh, shot until he's eight weeks instead of six weeks if we decide to do this. And we'll talk about that later at another time because of autism risk. But we're not sure yet. We have been discussing it. But anyway, y'all, we're going to say good night. You guys have a happy Sunday. And that is from Justice, little baby Justice. Oh, oh he opened he opened and said he knows we're talking about him. <laughs> Mouth wide open. That's how she sleep, y'all. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he about to suck that thumb. Nope, I thought he was going to give y'all a show, y'all. But anyway, so that's from Little Baby Justice, a.k.a. our peanut. And you guys have a great Sunday. And thank you guys. I love you guys so much. And if you're on this journey, it is so worth it because we got the best. have a great rest of your day it's been amazing until the next let me see i might do one before next week y'all just depending on um how he was feeling like said, probably like wednesday that's what i'm thinking wednesday do something for you guys wednesday and we'll start trying to get you out more videos this is now he we have him as part of it you guys can see what he's doing i'm not gonna do a newborn um video like 24 hours with a newborn or night with a newborn They've been done a thousand times. He sleeps. <laughs> so there's really nothing to film. If he was an up and down baby, maybe. But he sleeps. Um, maybe as he get older or something like that. But then he's going to be sleeping even more. So it's, it's no point doing like a newborn. I mean, he's almost done yet. So I was going gonna to do a video like that. I still will film what I had in my hospital bag. Since the hospital bag ended up going sooner. But I can tell you um, what I had. Um, but make sure if you go to the hospital, get you an Aruko stick. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. the cable channels, uh, ours, actually our hospital had great cable channels. They really did. But the Aruko, if you have movies that you really want to watch. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, it's time for me to stop this video. But if you guys have movies that you guys really want to watch and y'all been like having them on your watch list for like Netflix or Hulu or something, Take him to the hospital because you're going to be there in a minute. <laughs> oh, and if you cold, take a hoodie. And take wear, a blanket. Wear sweatpants. And take a blanket because she's cold take nature. A take a blanket because I felt so bad for this baby on this uh, <laughs> on that pullout bed, but she yeah, did it for me. don't have good blankets. <laughs> no, and she did it all the days for me. She stayed in that hospital, so I got to say she's the best <laughs> wife ever. See, I got a cute little family. Best wife mm -hmm. ever. Best baby ever. Whew. Best other wife. Oh, thank you, baby. See, the best other wife ever. <laughs> I know, you know, something. Hold on, y'all. I know I'm told you I was going to stop. But you know what she told me the other day? So I'm taking care of him. And she goes, you know what? I'm falling in love with you all over again. And I was like, why? She said, because you take so, such good care of our son. I said, oh, I really wanted to cry, y'all. I really did. I ain't going to lie to you. I wanted to cry. I did not drop that tear. I was being a soldier. <laughs> but I did because I thought that was so sweet that you know, some things that you think might tear you apart. You know, some some relationships don't make it through a baby. You know, don't make it through this. And for her to tell me she's falling in love with me all over again because she's seeing me in a different light now. She doesn't see me as a party light. <laughs> she doesn't see me in this light. She, but she, she's finally seeing me in a mother light. And she was just like, you're just so good with him. So 
That made me feel special. But anyway, that's it for the video. Before I knock cameras over and some more stuff and hit little peanut in the head. <laughs> Y'all have a great Sunday. Talk to you later. Bye. I'll try to put some videos, our pictures at the end of this. Bye. <laughs>